Sun Jackler Mosque Sun Jackler Mosque, one of the important works of Emre Aralat. Aralat was born in Ankara in 1963. He studied at Mimar Sinan University where he received his BART degree in architecture in 1986 and March degree in 1992. Upon gaining his bachelor degree, he worked at Metcalf, an associate's architectural office in Washington, D.C. Between 1986 to 1987. So, Sun Jackler Mosque was designed in Bayak Chekmis in an area that can be considered outside the city. He is noted as one of the most important representatives of modern Islamic architecture. Islamic architecture is in itself a style that exhibits the values and culture of Islam, but in modern times adhering to tradition falls from practice, so a combination style has been formed. Using aspects of both modern and Islamic styles, designers found a way to have Western-inspired modernism with the classical cultural aspects of Islamic architecture. Due to the fact that Ottoman architecture is out of date as a result of modern construction techniques and technological developments, Emre Aralat, who wanted to go out of these patterns, went out of order and gave Istanbul a simple and impressive mosque. The fact that the area worshipped in the Islamic religion can be any clean place, and the mosque does not have any specific shape, is the most important point of origin of Emre Aralat's design. An attempt has been made to create a mosque that appeals to physical and emotional perceptions by going out of shape-based patterns. It is also said that the design of the mosque was inspired by the Hira Cave, the place where the first revelation came to the Prophet Muhammad. This design process has been extended to four months. The Sun Jackler Mosque, which has a total indoor area of 1,300 square meters which has a closed area of 700 square meters, is designed to accommodate 650 people to worship at the same time. One of the most important design features of the building is its relationship with the sloping rural land in which it is located. It is intended that the mosque disappears along the slope, and when viewed from the outside, no part of the mosque except the minaret is visible. Gradually, the steps down along with the slope of the land also draw the entrance route of the mosque. Open areas were designed and built in the concept of a rural landscape and the natural vegetation on the slope. The structure, which has 16 sections in total, consists of two important parts, namely the administrative building on the north side and the library structure and the mosque structure on the south side. In the middle of these two structures is a courtyard. The descent from the upper elevation to the courtyard is from the side of the body wall of the mosque with steps. Behind the main place of the mosque are the ablutions and the house of the imam, who is in charge of the mosque. One of the most important features of the mosque is that for the first time in the architecture of the mosque, the places of worship of women and men were not separated. Women can worship in the same line as men. One of the first features that catches your eye when you enter the mosque is the stepped slope to the east of the Qibla wall, Mirab wall. The flat floor, which is in classical mosques, and the increasing slope towards the Qibla wall, although very little, are in the opposite direction here. In this way, visitors entering the mosque or those who want to worship are planned to sit where they want as soon as they enter the mosque, rather than app. When entering the mosque, the letter VAV is found on the left side as an example of a large hat inscription. This article bears the signature of Mehmet Azkay and conforms to the simplicity of the mosque. The material choices in the Sun Jackler Mosque practice are gross concrete, wood and stone. Care has been taken not to contradict the general integrity of the structure of the materials used. In addition, no chemical paint was used anywhere in the structure. Even when the Sun Jackler Mosque was still under construction, it was nominated and awarded in many competitions around the world.